So I've been hearing some things. The word on the street is that I'm not a real vlogger, that I'm not a real YouTuber, because I, I'm not doing any crazy stunts, I'm not doing any crazy pranks, and I'm not doing any crazy shenanigans or challenges like that. Well, <laughs> I've got something for you. Oh, being a wild and crazy guy again, vlogging while driving, I'm going to pick up some pizza. I really don't eat pizza that much. It's my favorite food, but it just always seems like it because it's all I ever filmed me eating in the vlog. Um, and I get to see Broody again for a little bit today. So pizza, Broody, come on. How can this not be the best day ever? United and it feels so good. Just a man and his dog. There's Brutus the owner. She's got my pizza from the pizza. So pizza, little dog. Awesome. Fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you. Gotta say, it's quite good, this na pizza. I got the chicken with the side of pesto and pepperoni. Big slices, too. I dig it. It's gonna fill me up. Watching some Mr. Ben Brown talking about vlogging. So, I'm vlogging while watching a vlog talking about vlogging. Vlogception all around. Um, He's bringing up some interesting points again about how he, he's gone through, I think, 1,100 plus vlogs in the past three years and just how much it can get pretty exhausting. So, uh, and I can already see that from the start. I have mucho, mucho, so much respect now for the daily vloggers. Casey Neistat, Ben Brown, Christian Guzman, all these guys that I've watched um, that have been doing this for years. It is a ton of work. My videos are really short compared to these guys too. They, they can make 10, 15 minute videos and make them look just professional in a day. And mine are right below, maybe far below semi-professional grade, working, trying to find my voice. But these guys do it every day and are just cranking them out. So. Um, so much respect for them and however much time they need to step back and take a break from them I completely understand so mr. Ben Brown fully support you in all of your uh, other endeavors along with vlogging and appreciate any video you put out so check Ben Brown out if you never have of the day brought to you by Stearns Gym. Stearns, a tradition in fitness in San Diego since 19, uh, very early 1900s. Question of the day before I go to the gym. What is your favorite workout album? Today I'm going to be rocking some Evil Empire from Rage Against the Machine. That's right. Uh, let me know in the comments below what are you working out to today. That means you're still alive. You're still kicking. So get it in while you can. Back down the steps feeling accomplished. Wasn't the greatest workout, but it's the one I got in today. So it was the greatest workout. No moment brought to you by Stern's Gym. Hit up Stern's Gym for the greatest workout of your life.
put these things up outside of the school that I walk by next to the gym. I'm going to start reading them every day after I get a workout in. Check that out. Keep an open mind is what a human being can achieve. That was a good one today. Got it in, felt really great. Now that I've been back in it for a few weeks, um, after just going to the gym for a while, I feel like I connect with people better. I feel more in tune with the world around me. Like those, I just noticed those motivational posters they put up at the school. I'm more aware of just basic awareness when, I, when I'm active. Um, so this is my plug for activity. Do something and let me know what you listen to when you do it i'm always looking for great workout music so comment below what you're listening to while you're being active <laughs> that's it that's it no more stunts no more stunts i'm done <laughs>